Okay, so let's move on. Uh, let's go on to uh, the trim. Now, there's uh, three different types of trim. There's trim in general, there's L trim, and there's R trim. So uh, let's go ahead and say string trimmed equals trim, and that is string here. Ooh, string. Um, so why is this function useful? Well, what this well, what it will do first is it will trim the white space um, from the left and the right hand side of a string. So if, you, if we've got white space here and we've got white space here, this function will just return this itself. So let's go ahead and um, first of all echo out the string so we can see what we've got here. Let's go and refresh. Okay, so you can see that. Oh no, that's because it's going to return like that, isn't it? Um, well, I'm not sure how to show you this as an example, uh, but we could go ahead and echo string trimmed. Um, so this is just basically going to uh, return the uh, trimmed string. Um, I think if we go ahead and put in and um, MBSP in there, oh, and we put that at the end as well, which is uh, an HTML space and let's echo out string okay yeah so now we've got a space at the start and the end of our string let's go ahead now and echo out string trimmed and that should produce oh no because I'm using HTML data anyway okay so let me just explain this rather than demonstrate it um, if we were to have a string like this and uh, why might we have a string like this well let's say you were feeding in values from a um, from a, uh, a text file for example and you'd use say an explode function to get each value um, separated by a comma into um, into uh, a string uh, you may have white space on either side now this might affect if statements because you might be comparing let's say if the certain value is equal to this that I've just highlighted in blue when in actual fact it might equal this which I've highlighted in blue so it might have a uh, white space either side we can use this trim function uh, to trim the white space from the left and the right which will then just result in the string itself here um, so that's the trim function uh, alternatively if you just wanted to uh, trim the left hand side white space you can use L trim and uh, vice versa if you wanted to trim the right hand side white space you can use R trim so that is the R trim function and the uh, left and the uh, standard trim of course okay so the last uh, we're going to talk about is uh, mainly for security purposes uh, let's go ahead and say string is equal to this is a string um, maybe in here we could yeah well we'll leave it as now uh, this is the um, add slashes function so slashes equals add slashes and we'll uh, supply that with the uh, string so let's go ahead and echo out string slashes to see the result that we've got okay nothing at the moment now let's go ahead and add in image source equals something so image.jpg for example now the first thing is uh, when we test this you'll see that it's added slashes before this and and uh, this uh, double quotation mark um, no, it hasn't. So, okay. So, okay. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this and just put a, a slash in. So, for that, you would use the HTML entities function if you wanted to remove the um, remove the uh, you know the HTML code as a whole. So let's go back to that actually, and we'll we'll use the HTML entities function in here, and let's go ahead and refresh. Um, okay, sorry. Entities. I'm sure that has a an underscore somewhere there. No. Okay. So what have I done wrong here? Um, HTML entities. There we go, that was my spelling. So you can see now that we've um, produced um, a string with this da data here. So what we've done is we've used the add slashes to add slashes just in here. Let's go ahead and remove this add slashes function. 
and you can see that that's just produced um, it on its own. So why is this HTML entity, uh, sorry, why is this um, add slashes function useful? Well, it's useful so we don't um, we don't pass anything that we don't want to. For example, with um, SQL injection, which I do have another video on, so go ahead and, and watch that if you haven't already. Um, and if you've used database, databases before, that will be useful. But add slashes is basically um, going to um, add our slashes to, to escape different characters um, for security purposes. So uh, now what we can do is go ahead and say um, echo strip slashes and there we go. So uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that there and you can see that we've got rid of them. So we've added slashes here and we've stripped slashes here. Let's just get rid of that again so you can see the difference. There. So why would you want to strip slashes? Well, for example, data may be stored in a database if it was going to be produced onto a page um, for viewing. And you might want to strip the slashes or add the slashes rather so this isn't passed as HTML code. Now why would you want to strip the slashes if you were say putting this data back into a text box for people to edit so you might have this in an input text box uh, you want to strip the slashes before you put it into a text box for people to edit and then you want to obviously add slashes when it's going to be viewed as plain text on a page um, anywhere on your website. So uh, if you ever find you need to get rid of these um, to allow uh, you know either for SQL um, SQL um, query security or um, just to display data on your page securely then uh, the add slashes is uh, is the function to use and to remove this is strip slashes um, which will then allow you to view the plain data so that's a short collection of string functions in PHP. There are many more. Uh, you can go to the PHP manual, php.net, have a look through the string functions. But these are the ones that I tend to use, um, apart from the, um, the string reverse, I tend to use uh, on a regular basis uh, when I'm coding. So uh, yeah, they're the string functions in PHP.